Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to create ISO games, isometric games. Uh, the games between 2D and 3D, and I want to add four advanced moves that character can continue to uh, walk through in all dimensions. Okay, uh, I can begin with uh, these two ISO cubes, or ISO jump, ISO jump side games, and then convert them. And I'm explaining how to convert your game to your desired goals. Create, and this is our game. As you can see, if I play it, it's something like this. You have to jump and jump and jump. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we have an uh, emitter here. It's lots of emitter here. You can uh, delete them. I don't need them. And I don't need to... Um, yes, I need the character. I explain how. And uh, I want to convert it to the our design game. First, going to the word setting the word setting change the direction to the zero <coughs> i want i don't want to uh force movement that the game is moving or deletish, uh, deletions don't want anything don't need to gravity everything is okay i'm going to the word and i want to uh, make my uh <coughs> game bigger something like this and as you can see this game is a, like a portrait okay so this method does not work you have to go to its settings and simply change the orientation to the landscape and okay change it to landscape and you can simply change all of the settings to the landscape Okay, you can change the settings because of, uh, you now learn how to convert your uh, portrait to landscape. Main UI, send a start. You can set your logo there. In the word UI, as you can see, we have a jump button that don't need to that. Okay, and this is an event observer. You can set it here and then fix the all settings there graphic here the pause okay now is everything correct in the world and if i play as you can see the game is landscape and everything is nice okay <clears throat> And we have to go into the word and uh, delete all the parameter of the I don't need to defeat animation on I want to as you can see we have a ghost jump that's in the next lesson I'll be explaining that we have one advanced move and everything is done here you can delete everything in a scene of I want I don't need to the background also you can <clears throat> Delete the background if you want. Don't need to the background. I want to make it from the scratch. And don't need to character in this situation. And we want to insert our platform and scene. You can download your project in the description below. And this is. Okay, this is all the graphic that we have to use. As you can see, this is an uh, isometric character. Okay, this is an isometric character. You can insert it. And this is our arrow that if you click, <coughs> the character go up, left, bottom, or anything. Okay, you can insert your games platform like this. We begin inserting <coughs> this as an object click and drag it as an object the first and the most important thing is make it to the decoration we don't need to have to collide make it a decoration 
uh, resize it and you can simply hit D to copy them W to copy here and as you can see it's exactly isometric games you can make it below them or above them it's not important you can simply make your game like this okay and you can insert other graphic I pause the game and correct the scene okay you can prepare your scene as you desire or something like this you can insert all of them as an object the most important thing is you have to make them all decoration. It's very important because the character uh, cannot move between them. <clears throat> Click and drag and all of its decoration. Click the character and we have to change its uh, character default uh, graphics to the isometric design. And insert this graphic to animation default and then you can insert your graph uh, your character <clears throat> in a scene and I, uh, this this character you can add a shadow to that and this character moves uh, go uh, moves to all <clears throat> up right left and bottom direction and first i have to select a character and mm, don't forget to <clears throat> correct its uh, collision don't forget that and I explained all of these settings before and okay this is our graphic or or I prefer change it to the circle because I don't want to uh, collide this hard corner to the other object and uh, for example you can set the decoration of the uh, <clears throat> some object like a wall to not decoration platform and you have to select them from the objects and don't forget to change it Uh, collision for example this chair as you can see it has a interesting shadow on it and for example I want to uh, object collide like this as you can see and I don't want to object go in this mode so we have to select a chair and change it collision to the circle and make it about it because uh, I want the character goes like this if I change the debug as you can see I want to cl collide like this but don't go it through this uh, direction <clears throat> okay everything is ready now and we have to change the character sitting going to the character and in a max speed because i want to uh go to the both direction x and y set a number here everything is correct the most important thing is direct movement activated because i want to add the four character button that we have to uh, order directly uh, this button to the character so in this situation we have to turn the direct movement don't need force, move, force movement fix rotation because we don't want to rotate the correct and we have to add we have to to add the uh, advanced uh, movement here because if we are going to the word UI and uh, here you can add your um, character button go to the character and the character button we need four character button for down up right and the left when we click that the character go to the up and rename them please rename them because it's very important you can define them define them to the advanced move mm, change it <clears throat> to the right it's very important rename them left and down mm, down 
<clears throat> and add a graph view then this is up add up arrow to that and as you can see the function in its function you have to <clears throat> set it to the component action it means the component the advanced mode that you add to the character if i click this button that component action uh, execute this okay we set it to the component action that we can set it to advanced mode uh, this is a right okay everything is right and you can change its position and make them first is up the name is correct it's set on a component if you want to export it to the uh, <clears throat> Uh, windows you can set up arrow in a keyboard uh, set it to the <coughs> left uh, right arrow change it to the component action it means that i want to control advanced move with that component left component action uh, left arrow select that uh, down arrow and set it to the component action and if you go to the word and here in a character we have to we have to add <clears throat> for advanced move up down right left first advanced move here set it to the up and uh, we don't need to have have an animation here but as you can see in this photo you can uh this is some uh, old game in build box here you can um create a uh, something like actual 3 3d object 3d a uh, game in this 2d game engine as you can see uh, for jumping for going up for going left for going down we have a specific animation that you can insert it here if you go up uh, another animation will be happen <clears throat> and we have to set a linear velocity in a y in a po positive y axis for example 20 is nice and mathematical of course replace and this event this event you have to set it to the bottom as you can see bottom up down right left that door uh, component action that we uh, set it to that button appear here set it to the up because we rename them okay the name the, these are these are the button that set it to the component action that we can match them here <clears throat> okay this is this advanced move and you can add uh, another advanced move to down make it uh, down and we need a negative direction in the y-axis replace and change it to the down add another uh, advanced move set it to the left left it means in this direction negative x x axis replace and it's the off screen sorry to the left add another advanced move rename them to don't be confusing rename it to the right it means positive x axis replace and to the right okay and now test our game to correct our issues and as you can see it is nice okay we have to fix this decoration issues here oh so another thing that we have to correct is the character bounding box okay click click i want to collide don't go further down or further up C click once to make them to um yellow and i want yes i want to be going back our game direction is this you can add stage you have to delete it before uh, previous graphics and make your own game this isn't just a start if you go this direction i would I go to the on another scene 
and test it again as you can see it going there nice and i can't go down anymore and it's correct everything is good as you can see we and you have to make the collision of this uh, chair here going to the object and you have to play with the collision of this chair for example as you can see you can make it like a bigger to collide it okay this is not decoration you can make it a platform as you can see it doesn't collide because the collide type it was off be careful about that and as you can see we can collide the chair okay it's nice and you can go as you can see we are going to the another scene and you have to make your scene graphic like this okay you got the idea and with this method you can uh create your isometric game but you need the specific special um, specific i mean graphic for doing that as you can see this is an isometric graphic it has its own shadow and like this uh, we have a lot of isometric objects on the internet. You can search and download them free. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.